improve quality of child care, higher human capital investment at the family level that would lead to bigger investments in health and education. Increased income generating and educational opportunities for women that will in turn benefit them and their families. Better development in outputs for children since smaller sized families assure that they would be better nourished physically, emotionally, and intellectually. And seven, significantly lower abortion rates. I think uh, those who are opposed to the family, to the reproductive health bill, should be able to comprehend and appreciate that this measure is definitely against abortion. Like in the uh, Reproductive Health Ordinance of Quezon City, the House Bill repeatedly would enunciate that abortion is not an endorsed family planning method. It is not part of the uh, long menu. And abortion remains to be criminally punishable under the revised penal And worldwide, uh, surveys would show that in countries where there are legislation or policies on family planning, more particularly on contraceptive use, the rate of abortion has declined considerably. But in countries where there is no legislation or program on uh, contraceptive use, the abortion rates are so high, like in the Philippines. The recent studies would show that the rate of abortion in the country, as recorded, because there are many which are not recorded, would be reaching the half million mark. And that is uh, a horrible uh, data. In Japan, where abortion is uh, part of medical insurance, uh, uh, the rate of abortion is much, much lower than that of the Philippines. Now, uh, we will have to give a uh, some uh, time for the open forum, but let me just share with you some thoughts which were uh, uh, verbalized in the G8 International Parliamentarians Conference on Population and Sustainable Development in Tokyo last uh, July 2 to 3. This was a preliminary meeting of uh, world parliamentarian before the meeting which is now currently held by G8 nations. One, uh, I will not be expounding on this because these are self-explanatory, but this could be subject, each of this would be a subject of further discussion. One, mater uh, maternal death is the worst iniquity. Maternal death is the worst iniquity. The miracle of life must have been death to so many mothers. Two, stabilizing the population is a prerequisite to sustainable development. Three, stabilizing population is absolutely needed to eradicate poverty. Four, climate change is impacted by human activity and population growth. Five, the best way of preventing deforestation is family planning. <laughs> I think uh, this message should reach uh, uh, Secretary Achenza. <laughs> because uh, way, way back, there was a survey by DNR that about 20 million lowlanders have invaded the forest because they cannot find job or food in the lowlands. 
fix this planet has not been given to us or to me alone. It is entrusted to us for the generations to come. That's why we should be able to really sustain development and mitigate population growth. Informed choice in family planning is the freedom from which all other freedoms flow. Eight, we must trust our women to make informed choices. And nine, family planning could bring more benefits to more people at less cost than any other single technology now available to the human race. Comparatively, funding for family planning is much cheaper than mega projects being conducted or undertaken by the government. That is a truism. All of these thoughts could be really truism. And they are as true as the statement of Oscar Wilde that when he was young he thought money was everything. Now that he has grown older, he know it is. So we need funding for family planning. Thank you very much. <laughs>